Hi, right, um, we had an airbag go on the front, a suspension airbag, a uh, fairly common thing. There, a bag of air that sits inside the springs um, with a line on which you can pump up with an airline. Um, missed the bit where um, I removed the opac, but I'll show you. There it is it's in the spring. In order to get it out there is a hole at the bottom which is about an inch and a quarter across. Um, you literally have to draw this whole rubber bag out of that hole. Um, it's a lot easier if you cut it up first. There you go. The rubber's quite hard now. It's been in there a while. There's a valve on the bottom. So that was a struggle. That took a good hour hour and a half. But it's out now. You'll find some pipe grips really useful for that um, and plenty of long strong screwdrivers to wiggle it down through. Here's a new bag which has also got to go in through that hole. Got a valve on the end. So what we need to do put this in a bowl of hot water, take the valve out of the end and roll it up like a bagel. Let's have a go at that now and see how well that works. Okay, not quite boiling, but pretty damn hot. with my glasses up pretty well. Collapsible bowls are brilliant, great space savers and pretty tough. Got a bucket as well and a colander and a kettle for when we're travelling on a motorcycle and a couple of bowls. So bowls are always handy, but they take up a lot of space. inside so I'll put the cap on. Okay, that's almost too hot to handle.
putting a few more on because we need to cut them as it goes in. So pretty much support all the length as I can. It's gonna be tight. videos as short as possible but this is taking a little while cap on the end as well which will stop any air seeping in so as we're cutting it as we're inserting it it should help it hold its shape phew need a cup of tea after that these are the pads that sit at the top and the bottom of the airbag to protect it um, let's get the airbag So this one went over this end and this one over this end. Now on this airbag the peg is quite small so the hole is quite small and um, I haven't got a replacement one so I'm going to have to make this hole a bit bigger. That trusty drill. Cordless, right. That's good enough. This never gets old. The best thing about American RVs or one of the best things.
see where I taped up that top part because I'd cut it a little bit. Taking the other one out is, is just getting it to sit up in the top there nicely so I can get the bottom in and then somehow get in the bottom pad in. Oh, no, my little nipple has come out of the pad at the top. That's not good. Pushing in, pushing up into the turret, top of the turret there. Uh, I think I need to let the air into this because the top of this bagel I've just made is, is sitting at an angle. So there goes the dust cap. And we need the thing to expand a bit. Dare I put some air in there? the proper shape now. Yeah, it's getting in. It's going slowly. God, I hope it fits all the way in there. Because I won't be able to get this back out without going into pieces. Joys. A lot of people are saying uh, ditch the airbags and uh, wear your RV and get springs made specifically for that weight. I must admit there seems to be reason why I logic in that. What I'm inclined to do is put some air in this and then drop the RV down at the front to push the bag right up into the turret and then raise it back up again. An attempt to get that bottom padding, which I'm really not looking forward to. It's quite a stiff piece of rubber. We have to warm it up. I've already warmed them up a bit, but that may be the way. Pump it up. Let's see what we can do. I usually run these on about 90 psi. Forty. So what do we do there? I don't think it would do any harm to try compressing it. So let's try that. I wonder why there aren't any or any videos of this on uh, on uh, YouTube. It's because it's so difficult to see, let alone find somewhere for a camera. Oh, that's not a bad view. Right, so I am going to drop this down. Drop the RV down. And see if that will push the top protection cap into place. Don't get squashed. The legs have gone all the way. One of them's folded away here. Can I let the air out? Right? 
Yeah, I think that's helped. I think that's helped. Going up. Okay, I've got a little bit of space to work in there. <coughs> you know, I said the whole bag would slip up a bit, but I don't think we're going to get that, that, that lucky. <laughs> there must be a trick to this. <laughs> We're in. Unbelievable. There we go, there's a tip. I know it's off centre, doesn't actually look off centre to you but it is, but the ones I took out were off centre and I think it's just where the coil, the last coil of the spring ends so I'm not too worried and I can see it's, it's in the same place. GoPro's flat but I think you've got everything there. Uh, not an easy job but probably easier if you watch somebody else do it. Um, I don't know if I caught it on the GoPro but I'm going to leave that 90 psi in there and check it again in the morning um, if there are any leaks, soapy water on those unions, on those airlines, but uh, job's done. Thanks for watching, uh, if you'd like to click like that would be great, if you'd like to subscribe that would be even better, if I get a certain number of subscribers I can uh, record longer videos and all that kind of thing. Have a good time, take care, bye bye.